Hello everybody, my name is Natalia Willett Grice and I'm a real estate and estate planning attorney here in the state of Florida and today I wanted to talk to you about big red flags that you should watch out for when it comes to closings and the biggest red flag that can undo an entire transaction that's often overlooked and often not known about is homestead. That's right, homestead rights in the state of Florida. So homestead in the state of Florida is based on constitutional protections and homestead is actually a bundle of different rights. So generally, if you think of homestead, most people associate it with that lovely tax cap that if you own a piece of real estate and you live there and you use it as your homestead, then you can get a reduced assessment amount on your property taxes but that's just one type of homestead there's another type of homestead the homestead that comes with when somebody passes away so when somebody passes away if they're married then the homestead laws say hey that spouse can live there for the rest of their lives and then the remainder will go to their children if it's not titled properly so that's one of the big things you should consider and finally, I wanted to talk to you about conveyances. Yeah, deeds, because this is the one where I've seen the biggest mistakes being made by investors. So you've got a great deal, you met somebody, you, you think that you can just like wholesale it or resell it quickly, and you get this person to sign a deed over to you, then you find your end buyer, you get them to sign everything over to you, and along this whole transaction, you forgot to ask your seller, your first seller, hey, are you married? <laughs> and that can render an entire transaction void. Yeah, void. Why? Because if somebody is married, uh, then their spouse has to join in the deed, even if they were the sole title holder of record. And the big dangers come into play here where you have people that um, don't consider themselves married anymore because they haven't been living with their respective spouses for years. Uh, they might even live in different states, but this was or might still be homestead residents at the time of the conveyance. And so you really should be asking the question to your prospective sellers, are you married and it might make people uncomfortable but it's going to protect you from having to pay tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars when your deal is undone i'm natalia willette grice from lco law and i want to wish you guys excellent luck out there investors